Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. This is a News 5 update. I'm Renee Skinner. The FDA has given emergency use authorization to the Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. They've determined the vaccine has met the statutory criteria for issuance of the authorization. It is administered in two doses, three weeks apart. The first doses could be distributed to healthcare workers and nursing home residents within days. Well, the latest numbers of COVID-19 cases in Colorado, 3,500 new cases in the last day out of nearly 50,000 tested. Sadly, 87 more deaths were reported among cases Friday. 228 new hospitalizations. Around that same number, patients were discharged. The current number of hospitalizations remains above 1,500. Local builders rallied to help downtown Colorado Springs restaurants hit hard by COVID restrictions. They transformed parking spaces along a block of South Tejon Street into outdoor dining areas. The Housing and Building Association brought in volunteers and GE Johnson Construction even reassigned some of their crews working the Pikes Peak Summit housing project. Well, one of the South Nevada Avenue projects is almost done for the past few months. Colorado Springs Utilities has been working on moving all power and gas lines underground so the power lines and poles can finally come out. Utilities says all power and gas has been switched over to the underground system. All right, let's check in with meteorologist Alan Rose. Hi, Renee. It's going to be a cold, unsettled, windy weekend, at least Saturday into Saturday night here in southern Colorado. Now, most of the snow stays over the mountains till mid to late afternoon. I think we'll start to see it in most spots between 4 and 7 p.m. And that snow expected to continue through the overnight hours and into early Sunday. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.